For the past two weeks, you've been reading about a bad brag. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. That I might have been given a bad break, but I've got an awful lot to live for. Thank you. On July 4th, 1939, the historic Yankee Stadium, 62,000 fans listened in awe as Henry Louis Gehrig, also known as Lou Gehrig, gave his farewell speech to professional baseball. Lou Gehrig decided to retire on this day because he was diagnosed with what is now known as Lou Gehrig's disease. He was born on June 19, 1903 in New York. Lou Gehrig signed with the Yankees in 1923 and was called to the majors later that year. He played 2,130 consecutive games, which is the second longest streak of all time. Lou Gehrig was given the nickname Iron Horse due to his amazing endurance and strength. He was 19 years old when he played his first game as a professional baseball player for the New York Yankees. Lou Gehrig wore the number four and both batted and threw as a left-hander. Lou Gehrig was the first player to have his number retired. Lou Gehrig had many achievements during his professional baseball career. He earned the Triple Crown, which was leading the league in home runs, runs batted in, and batting average. Lou Gehrig is one of the very few professional baseball players to ever won the Triple Crown. In December of 1939, Lou Gehrig was inducted into the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame located in Cooperstown, New York. Lou Gehrig died two years later on June 2nd, 1941. We chose Lou Gehrig's farewell speech because we both love baseball and look up to him as a player and a role model. Even though Henry Louis Gehrig is dead, he is very much alive in the hearts of many Yankee fans and professional baseball fans around the world.